Hey, how's it going, man? I'm pretty good. What can I help you with? Got a piece of rock and roll history. Drop a like to this video if you love Pawn Stars. Hey there, everyone. What's up? And welcome back to another video on Film Vert. The Pawn Stars deal is almost anything worth anything in their shop. But the real thrill is to deal with some of the most expensive items. This is what keeps the viewers glued to their screen throughout the show. So, here are 10 of the priciest items that the Pawn Stars purchased over the years. Before we get to those items, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out. Alright, let's begin. Number 10. Kennedy's Cigars Everyone knows how much John F. Kennedy loved his cigars. So, before he signed the Cuban trade embargo, he retained about 1,200 cigars for himself. On an episode of the show, some of these cigars were brought in by a seller in a royal cigar humidor that belonged to John F. Kennedy. He asked for $95,000 for the box and cigars, but eventually settled for $60,000. The items. All right. His personal cigar box sold for over half a million dollars. Number 9, 1922 High Relief Dollar. The most priciest items are often vintage. On an episode of the show, a seller brought Rick the 1922 High Relief Dollar, which is one of the rarest coins ever. The seller claimed to have won it in a poker game. Surprisingly, the seller asked for only $20,000, but Rick explained to him it was worth way more with an expert placing its estimated value at $100,000. Rick gave the seller 80 grand for it. Holy grails of American coins, and you won it in a poker. <laughs> Number 8, 1932 Model B4 Roadster. In Season 7, Rick and Corey went to see a 1932 B4 Roadster. The car was not only in perfect condition, but also driven about only 450 miles. On top of that, an expert confirmed that the car was in perfect condition and worth about 75 grand. In the end, Rick was able to get the car for $68,250. <laughs> I feel like a sardine in this thing. Number 7. Eagle Medallion You can't get luckier than when you buy something for cents and sell it for $1,000. Well, a customer brought the Order of the White Eagle Medallion for only 75 cents at a garage sale. An expert estimated its value to be $30,000. Rick was able to purchase it for six grand. So a win-win situation for everyone. I got it for um, 75 cents. <laughs> really? Number six, 1941 Gibson SJ200. Some of the most expensive pieces on the Pawn Stars are often the property of some legend. In an episode, two sellers brought in the 1941 Gibson SJ200 guitar that was formerly owned by rock legend Stephen Stills. An expert placed its value at $105,000. Rick offered the sellers eighty-five dollars and the sellers agreed. I would absolutely love to get my hands on this guitar. It's beautiful, it's rare. Number 5. Les Paul's Guitar Keeping up with guitars, a seller, who claimed to be Mary Ford's nephew, brought in a strange guitar. He claimed that this was invented by her aunt's husband, Les Paul, himself. A guitar expert was brought in and the value of the guitar was placed at about $150,000 at minimum. So the seller asked for two hundred and fifty dollars After bargaining, Rick was able to purchase it for ninety dollars Real electric guitar. I know he patented all sorts of different things with pickups. Number 4. Original Artwork Where the Wild Things Are was a book written by Maurice Sendak that became very popular and was later adapted into the movie. Rick was able to find a seller who had the original artwork of that book. The seller wanted $350,000 for the artwork, but an expert placed a value of only $310,000 on the entire book. Rick was able to purchase the artwork at $250,000. This is oh, that totally is cool. amazing. That is cool. Even today, I mean, every kid loves it. Number 3. 2001 Patriots Super Bowl Ring Sports memorabilia attracts plenty of attention and money. Brock Williams bought his 2001 Patriots Super Bowl ring into the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop himself. 
He pawned this ring for $2,600, but could not return with the money. So technically, Rick purchased the ring for such a negligible amount. Very first one I ever actually got to own. That's my 2001 Patriot Super Bowl ring. Number two, 3,300 ounces of silver. The old man loved silver and couldn't stop oozing when a customer brought in a suitcase full of it. The silver weighed at about 3,300 ounces. Rick offered $111,000 for the entire suitcase and the seller agreed. And all paper money was was a promise to pay you real money. Right. I've been clerk. Number one, gold bars. There really is no doubt about the price of gold. So when a seller bought in four bars of gold to trade, the guys at the shop couldn't look away. Rick was able to purchase the four one kilogram bars of gold for 128 grand. While you might think these are all pretty expensive, they really aren't. They fetch much higher prices when the Harrisons themselves sell them off, but they don't air that. This brings us to the end of our video, and we hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, then let us know by liking the video. Stick around for more amazing content as we'll be seeing you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.